What's up? It's me, Tristan here, and I'm going to show you guys how you can install Linux on your Android device. First, your phone must need um, a couple of gigabytes of storage um, and decent amount of RAM since this is running on your Android device. And it must be rooted. And I am rooted, but. Johnny. That's my sister. <laughs> Yeah, she can be quite a... <laughs> but anywho, um, if it doesn't work for you, then just install a custom kernel. I did. I'm, I'm still using my stock ROM. So, right after that, um, make sure you download the app Linux Deploy. And then right here. And then first, go to this little download icon. And then... The distribution, you can pick whatever you want. Like you can pick Chaos Linux, Fedora, CentOS, Arch, Ubuntu, and stuff like that. I'm using Ubuntu and I'm using Trusty. I'm sorry, because my nickname is to be Trusty. Um, the storage, um, I recommend more than one gigabyte. And the password, make sure you, you can set it to whatever you want. At default, it would be like a bunch of letters and numbers. So make sure you change that. So, um, if you want a GUI, then, I, you know, then activate VNC or SSH. And if you want a desktop environment, you can pick one. Um, I'm using XFCE, so I'll be using that. And right after that, then you go to here, then you press install. I already did this, so I'm not going to do that. And this will take like right around 10 minutes, so get comfy. And after when it's done, just press start. And if you get, and if you see right here, if it says skip, skip, skip on almost every one, just press stop and then start. And then Download this app called Android VNC Viewer. It's free from the Google Play Store. And there you go. I don't know why it's giving me a gray screen. It must be my SE Linux, maybe. But yeah, guys, this is it. And I also forgot to mention, this does have support for OTG. So yeah, guys, this is it. So see you guys in my next video.